pretty hey. like. Hey, welcome back to Disco Elysium. We're going to get rid of Kim and potentially start the third day. Almost definitely start the third day. Yeah. All right. All right, Kimmy boy. Oh, you know what? We can do one more thing. Okay. Can I help you? Guard, I saw another thing. Another thing. Great. I can tell about the phone line. Those. Yeah. She nicked the phone line. Why? No. Fuck it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know why these degenerates do what they do. I thought we had one good guest in the building. Well, anyway, mystery solved. I don't like loose ends. You have Lena. Lena's a good customer. <laughs> or Lena. Her name's Lena. Uh, sticking with two? Yeah. Yeah, neither do I. Thank you for telling me, I guess. Good thing she pays for her stuff on time. <laughs> forward her the bill and be done with it. Yes. Well, there we go. We got 5 uh, XP for that. Go, go back and say that she's a good customer. Uh, so, I don't know that we can. Can I uh, help you? Another uh, thing. Oh, no, we have again. No. Yep. Yeah, well, she's, she's a good not a guest, is she? True, she's not running a room. Oh. Anyway, I'll she's not even here. Woman her bill and be done uh, okay. Yes. Goodbye. I like this loading song. Or like the whirling lower floor song. Mm -hmm. See you in the morning. Uh, do we need to say goodbye to him? For oh. There he goes. And he just disappears. And the bye just keeps... Oh, okay. Took a long time to say that. Sne sneak away! Sneak away. Sneak away, away. So, does this person not like Kim? It's less that and more that Kim was telling us, yeah, no, you don't need to learn everything now. Uh, Kim's protecting our poor innocent mind, or at least he thinks he is. Soon we will be able to click on all the green orbs! We will be the masterminds then. We will learn everything! You're back. Good. More lessons in basic reality? My favorite uh, part of the day. Go ahead, ask me anything. What time is I these? These are unimportant times, Detective. You and I were born after the dust had settled. A thousandth of a second too late. Uh, too late for what? For the big time. Her eyes light up. It's a flash of teeth. The smile of a predator. No doubt what she's got in mind. What? The big time. The revolution. Ha! Huh. And what is this revolution I keep hearing about? It's quite easy. Every hundred years or so, our species gets together to decide what's next, who gets shot in the head, and who gets the mineral rights. It's a real kerfuffle. Who gets shot in the head? Those would be the communists. Generally speaking, 40 million people got shot in the head during the World Revolution. But the communists... They all got shot in the head. Oh, and the anarchists, too. They shot them well. So well, one forgets they even existed. Uh, did the communists and the anarchists shoot back? Did they ever? 
before they got shot themselves, they shot two million people. Truly a kerfuffle. Yes, the Insulindian Deluge, they call it. <laughs> oh, speaking about interesting words, little side note, I did hear that, although it sounds British, poppycock is an American invention. Like, word invention. That's just poppycock. Uh, I have a little, I had a deluge too, in my head. Yes. An acute thymine deficiency can be exacerbated by alcoholism. <laughs> exacerbated means made worse. Uh, anyone else get shot in the head on the opposing side? Oh, lots of people. Even the king got shot in the head, or thrown beneath a horse, or drowned. Accounts differ. It was unceremonious. Just as well, he wasn't actually the king. Just the king's nephew. The real king abdicated and lived out a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. Uh, I love that king! Fucking communist! Which one? Actually, it doesn't matter. King Guillaume has always been my favorite. He could smell a PR disaster brewing. So he got out alive and his nephew, Frisell, got shot in his place. Him and tens of thousands of his wonderfully fascist kingsmen. It was a wild time. Then what was this kerfuffle? The turn of the century revolution. Don't answer it. It's a trick question. The revolution began in 02 on the Isla of Grad, though by the end nearly the whole world had gotten involved. Who started it? It wasn't a who, but a what. A pandemic of Zarat a particularly virulent prion disease, which the authorities in Grad proved unable to contain. Then Marzolf came along and overthrew the government. Uh, then what did this Tuas do? It made people overthrow their governments. No way! Indeed. Zerat is a highly infectious microorganism that destroyed brain tissue. The actual causes of the revolution were material, the pandemic only provided the spark. Where did this spread from? From Revachol and Grad? Not far. The world managed to cauterize itself. Mazov's government was overthrown in 08, and the coalition crushed the Revachol commune two years later. It was the end. What came next? Why, you and I, officer. Our lives in the zone of control. <laughs> Something tells you her life and yours are not that similar. Maybe what it's because it? she has a boat and you have that necktie? A pair of pants? Uh, what is this zone of control? A city-state divided into mm. free market zones under the everlasting interregnum of the Coalition of Nations. And you, of course, the citizens' militia. The Zone of Control is the third incarnation of Revachol, after the failure of the Suzerain and the Commune. Uh, what happened in the rest of the world? Modernity. They developed the marvels of the inter communication. Telematic mirror. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, lovely technical difficulties there. That was great. Y yay! We missed talking to... Some of the conversation with Joyce. Yeah, Twitch went weird for about ten minutes. You're back. Good. More lessons um, in basic reality. All right, we started mm. with this. She won't maneuver her way out of this one. Um. Uh. I. I am a. No, nope, it wasn't this one. Sharp. Dios mio, a liberal. In her green eyes, you see a mixture of them. A Here. When the dust settled. With due respect. While a gen I would not. She realized. Then for my. Dark orange flames. Yes. Whatever else I am. All right, you uh, are. I'm also a mother. This is the and one. Then, so I click the one yeah. there. Awkward. Of course you're not, my dear. I'm All right, so I think you were going to do with this one, right? Uh. Because this is where we realized something was off. Okay, so 
let me ask you something else. And then she's just gonna put us back to the previous menu. Oh, oh, um, I meant what is this place here? Ah, this is the pier of Rue des. Yeah, my internet Zen. also went a little bit wonky. A, where the there. have been kind enough to rent me a slot. Or two. Uh, what is Rue de Saint Grisling 33A? A pre revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings, bâtiments. After Les Bâtiments Nouveaux. But 33A and 33B are not Nouveau. They're old. She looks up at the crumbling facade. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real high rise by the standards of the last century. <laughs> Built to mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the Delta. That was before the war, of course. Uh, who lived in them? Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate. Before the cannons locked four or five stories off. Splat, splat. From the dilapidated balcony, Cindy the Skull gives Joyce the evil eye. Her red paintbrush held to her throat. You could be wrong, but from here it appears as if she's running the brush across her throat in a soaring motion. Wonderful. <laughs> what? What is that? The girl in the old lady rags. Ye yes? Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a teen infraculture. Infraculture? Yes. You and I belong to the supraculture. We're common. The herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant. Those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. She prefers a fantasy world. An infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture. I understand everything. Make it more complicated somehow. I can't. That's how simple it is. One may dye their hair green and wear their grandma's coat all they want. Cattle has the ability to subsume all critiques into itself. Even those who would critique capital end up reinforcing it instead. All right. What next? Suddenly, you're not so sure you're part of the super culture. I think I may be part of the infraculture. And what would that be? <laughs> Disco. Uh, Disco! <laughs> I can see that, yes. I dabble in those dark arts myself, not so long ago. I assure you, it was a thoroughly supracultural phenomenon. All permeating. Downright mandatory. Nothing infra about disco, baby. Your disco? Uh, your disco, yes! Those days are long behind me. And even in the early 30s, I would say I was more of a new girl. Disco was a minor, but still enjoyable facet of the whole thing for me. The new? The new. A cultural era. And the name of the decade it ravished, the 30s. It came out of post-revolutionary Revachol. It was ultra-liberal. It involved lots of partying, as you might imagine, and champagne-colored everything. By the looks of it, that would have been when you came of age. Now. Uh. God, if... Uh, God, if... let's get back to reality central for the next one. Maximum Brio, officer. Uh, what is this acute... Uh, uh, NC... NC pathology. P pathopath... Why can't I talk tonight? What is this acute NC pathopathy? Encephalopathy? Thank you! <laughs> My brain is just... Foggy tonight. It's a neurological disorder caused by a lack of vitamin B in the brain. Symptoms include a retrograde amnesia. It's quite serious. You should get yourself checked out. 
Uh, what causes and why can't I pronounce that word? Encephalopathy. 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 Thank you. Well, it's either bariatric surgery or long-term alcohol use. <laughs> it's definitely the drinking. She nods slowly. What this boils down to is this reality thing is stupid. Blow this joint. Grab a bottle and drain that shit right down your throat. Uh, wipe the urge from your mind and get back to reality. She stares at you. Alright, so all we've got left the then are these two checks. Do so you even want to try them ever? Face. Uh, so what was that other thing she was supposed to give us? I think it's linked to the one of these two. Uh, let's try the impossible! May as well, we can't make it better. A strange coldness comes over you as you look at the world. The waves sway the sloop slowly. That's all. The doubt is fully formed uh, in your head. Uh, the alien feeling persists. What is you just think of something close to you? you. Jamais vu. Glad to have been of assistance. Well, let's at least add on what we need for that one. Okay. Uh, I thought we did. We did, and then we added on the conceptualization okay, stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, it's this one, right? Yeah, this one is the double. Uh, there was one more besides that, I thought. Half-Light, Logic, Chem, Chem, Suggestion. It's the same one, right? Yeah. Same slot. Uh, yeah, we only get the plus one. All right. We do have a skill point, so we could Good. always do that. What can I help oh. you with at this late hour? It's a late night. Do you ever sleep? Matter of fact, I don't. She takes another sip. Uh, why is that? I have a medical condition of my own. Nothing unusual, though. I'm old, you see. That's good. Is this way you can answer me some? You can answer me some. Qu that's a of weird course. way to phrase it. Answer I'm me for. some questions. Mm. Um, I've got or some questions. Though. The legendary. Of the it remains a mystery what you mean by this. Well, something close. we can get back this to it later. To have been uh, it's either that or we could bump it at like one I of the know. skill points we have. Anything else? Uh, That's the other option. Oh, bump, bump one of them. Spirit decor. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me check something. Do, 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 do. What yes. is the one? Backyard wall, cargo container is rhetoric. Hodger, barred door. Box of sunglasses would also be the conceptualization if we didn't wear that one out. What was the other one that we did? What was the one that we just did? It was um, a spirit to corpse? Yeah. Uh, is there any other one? Just Joyce's right now. Okay, I was just curious if we'd unlock any more than one at one time. Alright, so do we want to pump it into that one right now? Uh, maybe later. Alright, do we want to put the point in anything at this point right now? Uh, no. We'll hold off until we screw up some other choices. Okie dokie. Well, so, mate... So maybe we can get to bed, and next time on Disco Elysium, we'll start the third day. Do you want to go through the night terrors we're going to have first, or no? Uh, will it instantly kick us into a big story point? Uh, if you remember what happened last time when we got to talk to the reptilian brain, I think it's just that again. No, no, I mean when we wake up. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, save just in case. Sure, I'll do I mean, that once we get into the room. Yeah. Alright, I want to save. Okay. And now we the can go to bed. Cold from the broken window. Uh, the go to sleep. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. Here we are again, my broken bird. The waves are coming, carrying you away. But you can't go. No, you have to stay always half aware of yourself. You're not cooperating, brother man. <laughs> Why? It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. But you cannot because of the pain. And there's a lot of it ever present in your organs. It's like every one of them has their own nasty song to sing. <laughs> uh, I'm an artist, and Livy damages my art. Oh yeah, baby. Frame your suffering as a masterpiece. Only one problem. No one's watching. It's boring, buddy. Boring as dare. You're just stuck here, in the half world. Could try looking at other people, really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? I will. I'm looking at people all the time. I like them. Sure you do. They're all so friendly, aren't they? At least they're interesting. Each one has a process just like yours, running in the space between their ears, full of secrets. People are beautiful, statuesque, parodies and tragedies of themselves, a great democracy of creatures. What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Look at all these lights, blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! You're just pretending that you're asleep, even to yourself, while the world goes on without you. Let it. Let it. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Open your eyes. So, time on Disco Elysium. Day three begins. Day three.